over here in this space, this is next to the house, this is where we pile our firewood for the winter. Um, so we cleared all the firewood off. We used almost all of it. The rest is in the basement, staying nice and dry. So we have this empty and ready for more firewood, which will be getting delivered and chopped up within the next couple months. I have some voluntary bleeding hearts, which I love. But in this space, I am going to throw some sawdust wood chips and I will be planting, what are they called? Wine cap mushrooms, which I ordered. I'll give you all the information. Um, but this, because it's pretty well shaded, might be the best place for growing mushrooms this year. So I don't know if I had mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but I had gotten this massive pile of wood chips delivered for free um, behind my house. And if you can't tell how big this pile is, I mean, here. <laughs> As you can see how tall that is that's my thing um so it's quite a load i had it delivered last year i really didn't do anything with it um and what i plan to do is put it in between so i have like a wood chip path um between my raised beds and we'll see how that goes but this is what i am going to be using to put on the side of the house to throw the mushroom spores onto. So in case it starts raining and I don't get to finish this, I wanted to show you what I've done so far. Um, so these are wood chips that I got from the pile with my bucket. So this was like, this was three buckets full and I just spread it out in this section. This is the mushroom spores. I got it from North Spore Mushroom, North Spore Mushroom Spawn northspore.com these are wine caps look how beautiful sawdust spawn perfect so i am going to open this up break it apart and start sprinkling it around in this area and then i'm going to get another couple buckets full of sawdust and cover it up and kind of layer it that way so there's some deeper than others and there's going to be some spawns um, or spores or whatever in all of the layers so that it has a great chance. So, one second. Okay, I have never grown mushrooms before, but how hard can it be, right? You just sprinkle these around and that's it. So, ew, looks kind of gross, I'll admit, but, uh, I have my gloves on. I don't want to do this barehanded. <laughs> it's getting really cloudy and breezy, so I'm expecting great rain. Oh, okay. Um, and I hear these wine caps can be get as big as a dinner plate, and they're great um, as beginner mushrooms to start off with because they're super easy to grow, and you just need piles of sawdust or wood chips. Um, and you don't really have to do anything else. Um, maybe keep it moist or whatever as you would if you were gardening. Um, and also if you're like in an area where you have like a lot of wildlife or trees and forest, um, wine caps don't really resemble other kinds of mushrooms easily. So you won't accidentally pick something that could be potentially poisonous um, because they're pretty distinct looking. So here it is. And I'm just crumpling this around on my wood chips. And um, <laughs> yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm really excited about this, but I'm gonna keep doing this and um, layering and spreading and doing the rest of the area. And that's it, bye. Okay, so this is the end result. This whole area here 
is my wine cap mushroom patch. So I have a pretty respectable thickness of layers and I just would get a bucket full of sawdust, do one thin layer, sprinkle some spores, put another layer, a bucket full across the whole area, sprinkle some spores, another layer, and I just kept going until I ran out of spores. Um, and then I just topped it off one with one more thin layer of sawdust. Um, I left this little fellow and that fellow alone. They are bleeding hearts, which are some of my favorite garden flowers. Look how beautiful they are. And they come up every year and I appreciate them. <laughs> so that I am just so excited. I have never grown mushrooms before. I am excited to see what happens here. And um, I will get some serious bragging rights if I show up to my office with some homegrown mushrooms to share with my colleagues. So happy gardening, folks. <laughs>